welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I'm filming this at my parents because I'm filming on a Saturday. Well, I typically film on a Saturday, but I'm here at their house on a Saturday and I normally come on Sundays. We're changing up locations a little bit. I'm in the process of enjoying a four day weekend and I basically my whole week I was just looking forward to having those four days off. And it's the worldwide write-a-thon happening right now, so I'm hoping to get some more writing in. But to jump in to start off with books, my elephant still reading <laughs> and also still reading Perils of Sky and Sea. So I haven't finished anything. I just kept plugging away on both of the books, which makes for a very fast book wrap up. I don't know. Maybe I'm in a reading slump. Well, I mean, not really, because I am reading and I am enjoying what I'm reading. I just have been prioritizing watching some television instead for my writing wrap up. A lot of the week has just been making sure I have things done and ready to set up so that I can write during the worldwide write-a-thon and get things done. So that has really been my main focus. I did, however, on Friday, start researching. Many months ago, David Wiley shared a website with me that lists different anthologies that are looking for short stories. And while I'm not generally a short story writer, I was like, yeah, why not? This can be fun. And so I was looking through that list and looking at the prompts that really had stuck out to me. And so I was researching one for that, and the prompt was um, an urban fantasy with the fire element magic. And when I thought of that, I immediately thought of the Great Chicago Fire. And I was like, oh, well, that could always be a basis of it. Kind of playing around with some things for that. So doing the research of what that fire was like, history behind it, having fun. I hope to work on that more this weekend as well. And then for other media, I finished season 35 of the challenge which was the last challenge they had before COVID. They had some splinter challenges that they call like the all-stars, but it looks like it's been a different host. So I officially I've caught up. I've been watching that on Paramount Plus. We got a month of subscription, which is ending next week. So I really wanted to get all that caught up. And now that I'm caught up, I think I'll have more reading time because I won't be trying to binge watch anything. This is a extremely fast wrap up, but I just don't have a whole lot to say this week. And that's okay. I'm all right with that. Sometimes you just don't have a lot that's going on. How was your week 24? Thank you and have a good day.